In this tutorial, we will be looking at how to solve problems where a variable is squared, such as the formula for the area of a square. We will look at an example where we are given the area of a square and are asked to find the side lengths. Here we have a square with unknown side lengths s and an area of 75 centimeters squared. We can start off here by writing the formula for the area of a square is equal to the side lengths s squared. Now to solve for s, it's important to understand the relationship between exponents and radicals. You can think of exponents and radicals as opposites of each other, so they would cancel each other out. This is similar to how multiplication and division are opposites of each other. For example, if you take a number n and both square it and take the square root of it, you're left with just n. If you take that same number n and both multiply it by 2 and divide it by 2, you're also left with just n. So now knowing this, we can use radicals to solve for s. If you take the square root of both sides of this equation, remember everything you do to one side of the equation you have to do to the other, we get square root of the area is equal to the square root of s squared. And we now know that the square root of s squared is just s, so we have s is equal to the square root of the area. Now we can plug in our area of 75 into our equation. So we have s equals the square root of 75. And you can plug this into your calculator and you'll get an answer of 8.66 centimeters. Let's have a look at one more example of this. What is the radius r of a circle that has an area a of 77 meters squared? We'll start off by writing the formula for the area of a circle. So we have a is equal to pi times r squared. So we're trying to isolate r. So we'll start off by dividing both sides by pi. So that gives us a divided by pi. On this side, both pi's cancel. So we're left with r squared. Now that we have r squared by itself, we can take the square root of both sides. So that gives us square root of a divided by pi equals the square root of r squared. From our last example, we know that the square root of something squared both cancels out. So we're left with r is equal to the square root of a over pi. From here, we can plug in the numbers for the area and number for pi. So we have r is equal to 77 over, in this example, we'll use pi is equal to 3.14. So we'll plug that in. Now, 77 divided by 3.14 gives us 24.52. And now, we can plug that into our calculators. Square root of 24.52 gives us 4.95 meters. In this lesson, you learned how to solve for a variable raised to the power of 2 by taking the square root of both sides of the equation.